<laughs> Welcome to the cult classic horror show. Every week, you can have the conversations you've always wanted to have about the films you love. Shut up! Get rid of your distractions and prepare yourself you got a big surprise coming to you. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody to the cult classic horror show. Danny Bonin here with and you. And Scotty Bonin here with you. We are the, the Blood, Blood Brothers. Brothers and the Rob. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy late oh, oh, yeah. Halloween to all gonna, of you. Gonna get you, cocksuckers. Get you right get you. Gosh, cocksuckers. <laughs> That's how that priest sounded. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> like, like he was. I don't know. I, we'll, we'll get it. Raspy but voice. Yes, last night was Halloween. And uh, I, as we talked about during the pre-show, um, I like to cut a hole in the bottom of the Halloween bowl and yes. stick my cock in it. So when the kids reach in, they get a nice surprise. Yes. Uh, but you have to be low on Halloween we candy. We call, we, really we, call, we, we call that pulling a Kevin Spacey. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I usually hey, tell the kids, I usually say, hey, there's like a really thick... Um, uh, what, what do you want baby to call Ruth. it? Like, like baby Ruth in there. And that's all yours <laughs> if you can get that thing lodged loose. And so they'll just sit there trying and trying and trying. And then I spurt all over their face. Yeah. And it's like, oh, baby Ruth. Oh. And then 30 years later, Danny comes back. He's like, no, nah, I man, I may have been drinking. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what I don't happened. Know what happened. I'm sorry, but I don't know what happened. Dude, I, I, I gave out too much candy. I, I had to go to the store and get more because there was so many trick or treaters. No, you just shut Dude, down when that happens. Well, yeah. Well, one ration your candy. We man. ran out like at six thirty, and there were still kids coming. How much what did you start shit? with? How much candy did you a buy? A whole like cauldron full of candy, man. So you only bought like one large bag. Like two large bags, uh, two large bags. So you're saying you had more trick or treaters? Than, I don't know. I probably we had like fifty trick or treaters, man. It was crazy. I don't know. How much were you hand out one small piece of? No, candy? I was doing like a handful. I did like five pieces Rob's for each that kid. Fucking asshole that no one wants to go to because he gives you one piece. Rob, first of all, actually, Rob's the the guy who leaves the bowl out on the porch, so easily you could just go dump the whole thing in yeah. your pillow sack. Yeah, yeah but see, I, there's trustworthy children in my neighborhood. I came back. With candy left in the bowl, and then my sorry ass was so lazy, I didn't even go back outside to retrieve the bowl. I just left it out there all night long with the lights on and woke up this morning, and there was still candy in the bowl. So there's still candy in the bowl. I grabbed a couple of pieces on my way out to drop the children off at school. Did you get the good candy, or did you get the shitty, like, grandma candy? What did we get? Panda. I got. Okay. I actually did get what baby Ruth. Did we have last night? Yeah. Reese's. I like had Twizzlers. Sn- I had the Snickers, Snickers, Three Musketeers, Milky Way, Twix uh, variety pack. So I got. Yeah, the, I got the good shit. I got like yeah, three yeah. That's, that's what we did. Panda. Panda is relaying live messages to me from the living room. Um, yeah, we had the what you had the the what is it the Three Musketeers, Twix, oh, Snickers, yeah. and Milky Way. Picks. Milky Way, and then then we had the sour mix, which was like sour Skittles and Lifesavers oh. and stuff. And um, yeah, no, we had a whole bunch. I will say, surprisingly, there was more of the Twix um, variety pack than the sour stuff. The kids wanted the sour stuff instead. Really? Uh, I just but, gave them what but, they got. Oh, wait, oh, wait. New, new news is coming in. Panda did say that. They they must have rifled through it and stole all the Twix. Uh, they left everything else and they stole all the Twix. They left the other Bastard. chocolates but stole the Twix. Yeah, I, think, I, I didn't I hand think, out Reese's because I ate all them bastards. Oh yeah, well, I think I eat all the Milky Ways. I think Milky Way is the best. Oh, I love I love like the Reese's and like the Butterfingers. I have that too. And then I I do love Baby Ruth's and like Snickers. Anything with peanuts in it is good too. Now, do you put your Kit Kats, oh, I Reese's, love Kit Kats. stuff like that. Do you put those in the freezer? 
No. Oh yeah. No. Sure. Oh, I don't like, so much better. I don't like. Freezer. Why not? You eat it straight out of the freezer. Yeah. Oh yeah. Frozen solid peanut butter Reese's or Kit Kats. Yeah. Oh. Those are good. I don't like Kit Kat so that good. much. I'm gonna do that because like because I like I like set some aside for me in case we didn't in case we like handed all of it out. But even though we got more, I like but to freeze, there's more in the freezer now. I like to freeze chunks of my poop and wrap it up and put it in the candy bowl. Yeah. There yeah. you go. You I mean, like gift, just, gift wrap it. Yeah. yeah. That's just because y'all keep it classy up there in Colorado. Oh, exactly. Did you dress up, Rub? At all? No, no, no. I was gonna I was gonna go as Al Borland from Tool Time, but but no, we like uh Reagan's Wednesday outfit and car. We made all those. The Panda decided to go like all out this year. We made them all by scratch. Nice. So like all day yesterday and I painted Connor's helmet last thing. So he was huffing spray paint fumes for like three blocks. Nice. And and we finally had to throw it away because he was basically just either going to die or pass out. Something (laughs) seems odd about it. I just Halloween, like you could easily poison candy and throw it in there. I guess everything's pre wrapped now, mm-hmm. but yeah. this is a weird fucking thing. Unless you do like personal, like popcorn, little Who's, bags whoever for kids. was like on Halloween, let's go door to door and get candy. Yeah. I what just, uh, was, what, what, what is a candy from Halloween that y'all used to get that that's not out there anymore? Because I know mine and I was really damn disappointed this year. I don't have one. What? Like Come whoppers? on. Oh, yes. Well, like that, something like that, like pixie sticks. There wasn't a single pixie stick handed yeah, out. last. No week. pixie sticks. That's because the kids used, used to sniff that stuff. Oh, man. I used to got... just <laughs> I used I used to I used to just pour them in my soda. Like what? just just. Oh, my God. I love pixie All sticks. Right. They were good. Um, but one of the neighbors was cool and was handing out pop rocks. That oh, was nice. that was a bold move, man. Like that was like respect. That was awesome. Yeah, I, I I dressed up with a saw coming out of my chest, and I put all kinds of blood around it. I was like a crazy guy with a little like it actually looked pretty good, and I put blood all in my face. These and fucking kids, like half of them didn't even well dress up. One third of them didn't even say anything. They just opened oh, yeah. the door and yeah. I just give them the candy. And Some they, oh no, so no, 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 no! piss poor too. If they don't say trick or treat, then you're not getting fucking candy. You I know, didn't say like what do you guys say? This is all going down to the to just the. The, the degenerates and the way that this world is coming to right now. <laughs> Children have to say trick or treat or you don't get shit. That's just how it is. Well, I actually had to say, what do you guys say? Trick or treat. There you go. <laughs> I, had to, I had to front kick a five-year-old to the face because they wouldn't say anything. Yeah. I hate that. <laughs> and the costumes were pretty like <sighs> me growing up as a kid. My mom was big into horror movies. So all of our costumes were crazy, like Beetlejuice yeah. and all handmade. Man, there are like some Walmart costumes out there that are just like, there's like a kid in a hoodie with a werewolf mask on or something. Like, no, yeah. that doesn't count. That's horse shit. <laughs> they just yeah, make their own fucking... shitty costumes I saw. Some of them some but, of them are good. You know, you know what I fucking hate are the douchebags that just like put on the shit that their hobby is. I'm sorry if you're listening to this and you do that, like, like uh, I, we went to the stupid Halloween parade along with the and and one of the guys was just literally wearing climbing gear. Like he was going to go climbing, you know. Mm-hmm. And he obviously, oh, just, that's weak. And he yeah, obviously that's just weak. owned that gear because he's a climber. So he just put like a like like a, like a harness on. Yeah, and, and, and he had like a backpack with all the carabiners uh, on it, and he had a helmet on. I was like, this is fucking stupid. Yeah. And then, like yeah. another kid and came, just trying to show off too. Half yeah. of it was like, it's if like I could wear this all day to show you I'm a climber. I would. But like, this yeah. is like my one day I could really it's like you even climb, bro. Like, I, had, I had like a, a teen last night come to the door, like just in hunting gear. Like he had camo on, but then he had like orange beanie and like an orange vest. I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Fucking y'all y'all, y'all, y'all hunt up there? Y'all hunt in Colorado? You gotta be like a uh, character I or personally don't hunt, but there's th- tons of people that hunt. Yeah, there's, there's a lot I, of I didn't here. know with all, with all the hippies up there in Colorado. Oh, dude, you, you, just, you just think of Boulder. That's only, that's isolated to Boulder. The rest of Colorado is a bunch of freaking gun owning, hunting, freaking, you know, well, Fort, Fort, Fort Collins got a little bit of it too, you yeah. know, coming up. You're, but like Boulder is just its own little thing. I no. was hoping so because y'all got like 
wild elk that just like yeah. block traffic and shit, right? Like, Next, I mean, it's like, yeah, I don't like up in Estes Park. Next year, I'm going to put my backpack on and my hike. You said hiking Estes boots, Park, and I'm be a hiker. Kind of funny, like, Estes like, Park. Do you, like, like, do you hate on Estes? No, Park? I was just there last week. Oh, it's beautiful, man. Stanley Hotel is shining. That's right. It, now, here's a question for you because we're we're coming to Colorado. Like it's happening. Yeah, right. We all know why. We all know why I haven't happening. got up there because I'm running into the same issues that y'all it's are. It's never happening. But 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 here but here I have two. It's a two part question. One, is it open year round? Like, does it actually get snowed in? Like in the movie? No, like, it does there not times of the in. year? No. Okay. Part two. Is it anything like the movie, or it, is it all modernized now? No. It the um. It is exactly like the Steven Weber movie, because that's where because okay. that's where they filmed it. But but, it, but I mean, but is, is is it still kind of old school yeah. looking oh, yeah. at it's all, all yeah. or is it? It's all old school for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, Sorry. Three part question. <laughs> um, if I go up there, is it okay for me to wear one of those like like wool Indian? design geometric design ponchos uh yeah i think you'd be welcomed sure. yeah you'd be fine that'd be great man <laughs> well i I, well, I had a question you might be mistaken we were, for a homeless person on the street begging for alcohol well I, had, I, well I had a question because we went we were at we were at a store shopping and i bought some badass flannel and savannah was like well now all you need is like a puffy vest and you'll look like you live in Colorado. <laughs> and so it just got me thinking, like, when I do go to Colorado, like, what do, do y'all wear the duck boots? The, n- no. What's the y'all, duck y'all boots? Y'all wear, like, the <laughs> like, like the L.L. Bean snow boots, like the duck boots with, like. <laughs> mm. I, don't, I don't. Maybe people do. I don't know. I'm just curious about footwear because I want to. I don't want to look like a tourist. I'm wearing some slip-on black Vans right oh, now. Oh, I I know what the duck boots. <laughs> I mean, you <laughs> yeah, you can like, wear like the duck the, boots like the like the LL Bean, like the bottom. Yeah. Of, like the bottom's rubber and the top's leather. Yeah, I know. And it looks, I used to have a, I used yeah. to have a pair of those. Look, these these ones. Ha! Oh yeah, duck Body boots. Yeah, no, I, I, I used to have a pair when I was like eight. <clears throat> To walk around in the snow. I had a pair of them like recently, but I don't know where they went. No, I mean some people do if you're up in the mountains, but not no, not a, not a lot. I'm just curious, man, because I really need an excuse. To you know buy what duck- you need? You know what you need to buy that I don't wear that fucking everyone wears around here is a pair of like Merrill hiking shoes, even though you're not hiking. I got. I have. I have several pairs of Merrills. Oh God, you're you are one of those people. I have Merrills. <laughs> I own a pair of Merrells and I only wear them when I go hiking. Just yeah, but if know. you wear them all the time, then, then you're prepared to go hiking at any given moment. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, yeah, exactly. How many times I mean, have if, you randomly gone hiking? Oh, well me never. That's, <laughs> I have never randomly hiked anywhere. Once you come out That's here, we'll saying. take you on some good hiking trails. All right. Well, no, we, we don't. We don't got to go that far. Um, no, then no. you, then you could be a no. hiker for for Halloween. See? No, the air's thinner <laughs> up there, and everything. I'd probably just die. Like if I went on one of your fourteeners or whatever the hell they're called. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I That's want the. Them. I want. Well, I want the one that we can drive, and I'll roll the window down and get the fresh air, and then and then we'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be like I was there. I just want to say we've been talking for twelve minutes, not about the movie already. Well, it's because. Coming to a theater near you. We're talking about Hel- did you, Halloween. Did, did you want to watch a shittier, less interesting version of The Exorcist? Well, then prom I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even you. give it that. I wouldn't even <laughs> call it that. Because, yeah, this... Prom Night 4, Deliver Us From Evil, Deliver 1992. From evil with uh, what I thought, this guy, this um, <clears throat> demonic priest sort of looks like a mix between uh, Antonia Banderas... And God, how, why did I just say it that way? Antonio Banderas. Banderas. And uh, the Indian guy in Creepshow with the hair. Oh, yeah. yeah, the, the, yeah. He also reminded me a little bit of, um, what's his name, from Renegade? Lorenzo Lamas? Uh, yeah, Lorenzo Lamas. Yeah. With that, with, with, that, with, that, with, that, with that poofy ponytail thing yeah, he had going yeah. on. Renegade. I used to watch Renegade back-to-back with Walker, Texas Ranger. I love. I never watched no, Walker. No, Renegade maybe, was so good. Maybe Renegade was back to back with Highlander. I think maybe that's what it was. I can't he looks remember. like it. He looks like the guy from Highlander. I 
I, I try to picture Lorenzo Lamas, um, and I can't, and I just picture like Mel Gibson with the long hair. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, really? it's probably somewhere. I just can't Who picture Lorenzo, Lorenzo Lamas. Renegade, I, I can picture him. I can't picture him. Gotta, Who was the guy from High? It was the, the Highlander, the series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can't remember his name. But oh I can man, picture him. I just I just Googled it. He lo- he looks like this guy. <laughs> he looks like this guy so much. Does he? What's his name? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see Jesus, the series. What's his name? I guess it's Adrian Paul. Adrian Paul. Adrian uh, Paul. Yeah, that's that's who it is. See, I am more familiar, or at least. I grew up watching the Highlander show because my dad used to watch it all the time. That's a series, yeah, yeah, and I and so I always just think of that instead of the movie when I think of Highlander. For some no, reason. I always think of the movie for some reason. I just yeah. here we are, we're the princes of the universe. Oh, okay, such a, such. I so, need to watch that movie again. So the uh, quality of this film wasn't that great. Yeah, just so like the first if you guys one. watch this movie, it's on Amazon well, we, Prime. We, we don't know if the quality was good or not because for some reason, Amazon is like what they're like bootlegging VHS yeah, tapes. Maybe now. that's what they're Amazon, doing. Amazon it's has like horseshit. they have no quality standards for the the movies that go on Prime. I guess see both prom nights were crappy from Amazon. That's probably yeah. It's it's, it's an Amazon thing. This this prom night for <clears throat> no, I don't think it's an Amazon. I think. I think the the cut they got was that shitty, but they just didn't care to look for a better one or request a better one. I don't know what the deal when, is. There has and, to be, and, and with Prom Night Three, that quality on YouTube was actually good. Yeah, yeah like, it, was it was better, really but, good. but they didn't have it on Amazon. No, no. And how can you have even the second one? How can was you have three quality. movies of a four movie series on Amazon and not have like one of the middle ones? Mm-hmm. That's stupid as fuck. I mean, well, and I don't, for, and what, and what I don't get either is like we just you know we. It'll be released later, but we just did an interview with the writer, director, producer, editor, actors, actors. Of, <laughs> of, of, of a of a movie that we'll we'll announce later. Um, and he said, like, even for iTunes and stuff, like they have to screen it and it has to have, you know, a certain resolution and yeah, look there's quality like, control. Yeah. Yeah. And there's like Amazon's like, what? Oh, oh, here's a here's a DVD from a VHS ripoff yeah. from a recorded tape. <laughs> yeah. It's like, sure, here. we'll put that out there. Here, no I problem. Had, I had my, uh, I had my old, you know, um, video camera set up on a tripod watching the VHS on my tube TV. Here it is. Mm-hmm. Here yeah. you go. <clears throat> and for this being 1992 and the first one was 1980, it seemed like it was like the same Oh God, quality. this, this yeah. quality was worse. It you was, think there'd be another it was better like quality one out. they filmed it in 1963 yeah. or something. There has to be a better quality out there. They just got the better well, yeah, version. There has it. to be. There, there. I don't know there if they've is. redone it in HD, but but there just has to be a better quality one. Well, the 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 version I watched on um on YouTube, which oh Rob streamed it on YouTube. Shut up! I didn't know they had it on Amazon. I forgot. But either which way, the quality sucked. But the YouTube one literally was like a dubbed VHS tape. <laughs> there were tracking marks in it. <laughs> It's like you know, it was like there'd be like a like a, like a cut mm-hmm. scene, and you see it like, and then we're straighten out again. I was like, holy well, shit, this is amazing. Well, let's get into this story here because um, this pretty much has nothing dirty, to do. You, you, you dirty whores, dirty, cock you dirty, fucking dirty, cock dirty, 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 slutty whores running around whoring themselves whores. out with a. Oh, he, <laughs> he was the most he was the most pent up priest well, he's like doing ever he's like I, you could be argued that he was uh doing some good work because he's just getting rid of whores out there Haws. i if you guys haven't seen prom night four um it doesn't belong in the series it has nothing to do with any of them <laughs> much sort of I, like I, and, I, and i thought it would because it started like in 1957 again. yeah yeah and uh, hamilton high is just happens to be in it because they just had but, to put but, it in there it has nothing to but do there with but there was no mention of mary lou no that i no. i didn't i didn't pick not even like an easter egg nothing it was like well it, like you said it started 57 and it went back to the same high school so i'm like okay this is going to be like a like maybe like one of those like catching you up scenes. It's going to start off. Oh yeah, I you know, like, was, like 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 all the shitty Batman movies where it starts off with like the Wayne, the, the shitty Evil Dead Two recap of Evil Dead One. I mm-hmm. thought it was going to yeah. be sort of like that. You know? Yeah, and that's what I thought. But then it was like, nope, nope. <laughs> but 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 what? It, it it shows the two kids getting undressed. So they don't even get undressed, and then Father Jonas just comes and kills them. Yeah, because uh, they're because they're being whores. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We he doesn't saw, like sex. 
we saw like the flash of a garter belt <laughs> and then mass murder. But the other part about it is too, is I didn't catch a single boober in this movie. Oh no, there was, there was maybe your YouTube version didn't have it. I didn't catch a single boober. Really? There was a boober, boober when I, the blonde girl uh, was in I the shower. Thought, I, okay. I thought I, I thought I caught one there, but then there's like a, there's like this extra long scene with the blonde girl. And I'm like, okay, there will be boobers, but no, like the guy is like playing connect the dots on her back. And I'm like, what the, <laughs> no, I what saw, the hell, what I the hell is this? I wrote my notes, happy boobers. Cause uh, we saw hers in the bathroom. Okay. Well, so. I'll give it good. That's fine. But there still was not enough. Well, movie people out there who are going to make movies one day, if your movie sucks, like this one did, that thing needs to be wall to wall boobs. <laughs> <laughs> At least a little suck. bit better. There, there was a ton of garter, like weird. There, there was a lot of garter belts in there. there. Was, like, yeah. almost, <laughs> weird shit going on almost there. Almost an abundance of yeah. garter belts, and then like a semi lesbian garter belt scene. Yeah, yeah. and just, and, just be topless. And also, br- and also bras that just cover like nubs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was <laughs> the, these bras. I was, man, I felt bad for that guy, dude. These well, we'll, were we'll 19, get to it, but I mean, nineteen fifties bras. Yeah. Well, we, well even, this, this, this one were, dude. Yeah. This one dude got stabbed in the hand twice, the foot, and fell off of like a twenty-story mansion for like bee stings. Like, yeah, I think for, if he knew what he was getting, he wouldn't have gone that far. Yeah, they were for like yeah, they were they were probably smaller than Rob's titties. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Those things weren't even. In, I, she she didn't need a bra. No, That's all I'm not saying. at all. Like there's. It they, wasn't for support. It, it was just like was just a nice tight blindfold for the for her, for her little headlights. It was like I don't I don't know. I got nothing. So 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 well, so the slashing happens, and then it's like thirty years. Well, later, let me. Right? Well, hold on. Let me. So I I want to talk through this a little bit, and maybe we can get back to this format that I want to test out of talking the movie a little bit, so that it uh, oh, people just, can follow. Just along. Follow trying to put restrictions on me. No, 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 no. I got good notes though. So. <laughs> Get the oh, storyline. Get the okay, plot. So prom, prom night four, nothing to do with any of them except that Hamilton High is the high school that these kids go to. That's the fucking only thing, which is stupid because Hamilton High has a history of its own, the gym and all that. Yeah. So why wouldn't they connect it there? But no, these kids just go there and now they go. It could, yeah, it could have been any high in school. It didn't even, uh, it didn't even need to start in the 50s. No, it did not at all. So the movie opens up. We're in the 50s. There's these two guys, people getting down. It almost opened up exactly like. Uh, oh, it did. They, prom they were at prom. Two. It was almost exactly like prom night two. They're at prom. A girl. Uh, it, it, for a second, you thought that the girl was going away from her boyfriend to a different boyfriend. And it, it ended up not being that. But um they, they're basically doing it in the car, and this psycho fucking priest comes over and breaks through the car window and slits her throat, kills him, kills her, mm-hmm. and says something about horror cocksuckers. And <laughs> it goes it goes back to uh, his place, uh, the priest's place. He's in like the basement, um, whipping himself, uh, repeating Bible passages. He's obviously fucking insane. The other priests arrive at the house. To obviously apprehend him, he's murdered somebody, or he's probably murdered many people by now. And um, he, before they do, he shows them that that he sort of has powers. He bleeds, has the stigmata. He bleeds on his own. The blood mm-hmm. comes from his hands. And and you know, whenever I think of stigmata, I just think of per- Patricia Arquette going, uh, doing her little uh, Spanish oh, deep, yeah. deep voice to uh, yeah. possessed yeah. thing. <laughs> but uh, so they apprehend him. Jump forward to 1991, and yeah, these these fucking high school kids again who don't even is it? Oh, it is Hamilton High, yeah. So it's Hamilton High still. Then we see, but, but, Brock but, but, but it looks like Hamilton High is like a Christian school now. Well, I don't think. See, I don't think she. I think the girls went to some Catholic school, and the guys went to Hamilton High. That's what I think. Maybe, that's maybe, what maybe think. that's what. It, still, like no reason to have it. Still, no connection. Yeah. Then, then we see, but there is a connection because oh, Brock Simpson's in it again. Oh God! Young, and, well, and young they Father used, Colin. And they use the same. <laughs> they use the same catchphrase in the beginning there, um, when he doesn't have a date or something, and then she's like, "Well, who, why didn't you bring anybody?" In the very beginning, the guy doesn't have a date that gets with the girl, and mm-hmm. she's like, "Well, why didn't you bring anyone?" He's like, "It's not who you come with; it's who you go home with." Uh, which, yeah, I think, yeah. which, I, which I think they should have changed to. It's not who you come with. It's who you come on. 
and then they go into the car. Yeah. Oh yeah. And she, it was crazy. It was crazy. It's like 1957. They were like, these, these girls were, were all about it. Oh yeah. They she, were. she was like, she was like, where's your car? He's like, uh, I got a, he's like, do you have a car? Yeah, I got one. Do you need to ride home? No, come <laughs> yeah. with me. It's like, <laughs> damn. Okay. It's like, really? Like, like daddy said, if you bring it down, the priest didn't have much of a choice. Mm-hmm. All these, <laughs> all these whores, all, dirty, dirty whores. All these dirty whores everywhere, just just slutting it up. He had to go kill him. And when he kills him, he like splat. He he light he lights. He puts a candle or something in the car, and then he splashes his flask on it, which I thought at the time was alcohol, but maybe now it's, it's like gasoline, gasoline or something. He splashes it on the car, and instantly car blows up. Yeah. Well, 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 well what I don't get is either. Too, is yeah, they're but like you don't... making out. They're, they're making out, and they hear like a couple of. They hear a couple of bumps, which is him laying the candles on the hood. Yeah. Like as soon as you look up and see three burning can you you would <laughs> you shit you would you would like shit your pants. Why the fuck are there candles in my hood? And, since and when, then you would then you would jump into the driver's seat and friggin' leave. And since when <laughs> like, do three candles on the hood, when splashed with a small amount of alcohol, instantly make your car explode? Never. Especially if it was if it was gasoline even, that would not happen. Instant explosion. It was like yeah, it was See, ridiculous. this goes back to the candles on the hood in Prom Night 3 as well. Uh, see? Was there candles on the hood? Yeah, I remember he has candles on his hood if he takes oh, her out. Oh, on the for, dashboard. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, the dashboard. This, one, sorry. this, this was, was on the, the actual hood. Yeah, yeah, this was on the hood. Still, though, up. how is Scott, Scotty's on the ball with it? Like, yeah. I wasn't even paying it to, Well, you know, everybody. Never mind. You know, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. I want to I wanna call the priest father like Father Gollum because that's what he sounds like and looks like when he's whipping himself down in his basement. What was his name? Was something funny Jonas. like Jonas? Jonas. Yeah, father, father Jonas. 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 He's one of the Jonas brothers. My name is Jonas. Co- and, you know, it just it cocks, just doesn't cock sucking doesn't look, horse. Oh, God. It, does, it doesn't look good on the priest either because one Father Jonas turns around and uh, basically lets us know that one of them's a pedophile. Yeah, and that's true. Then they like they don't turn him in; they just like lock him in the dungeon. Yeah, wouldn't it's like, oh. it's like wouldn't you just like wouldn't you just kill him? Yeah, you're like it just doesn't make any well, sense. So it's like we, no, we're just gonna we're gonna keep him down there for safekeeping so for the next thirty we, years. When we jump forward to ninety one, we see that freaking Brock Brock right Brock, Brock Simpson. Simpson is uh, now a priest. He's been a high school kid. He's been a police officer. Uh, he's a priest now. His dad's just the producer and, and fucking put yeah. him in everything. Yeah. So and they and he didn't even like connect them in any way. He just plays four different people in four movies. I don't even know if his dad had anything to do with this one, but he. No, I think it said Peter Simpson or something. Oh, yeah, in okay. the opening credits. So we find that he. Come on, Dad. Yeah. Come on, Josh, Dad. I could be a priest, Dad. Come on, Dad. Oh, you're such a dick. That's why Mom left. <laughs> So he's the priest, and we come to realize that now he's tasked with the um, task <laughs> of, uh, with the responsibility of keeping this possessed priest in a catatonic state down in the church basement, which apparently there's an entire labyrinth of prison cells below the church. Of course, there has to be. What church doesn't have um, just a, a, a bunch of, of cells beneath it? That's where all the, uh, the, 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 the sinners go. The, the, the little, little boys. boys. <laughs> oh, God. We were both. This is for a Catholic boys. church, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he 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 is uh, supposed to keep giving, uh, which is also weird. The the father who we saw murder back in fifty seven is now in a cell in ninety one in the church basement, and he looks for no, years. no different whatsoever, except that he has long hair and a long ass beard, it's just totally black, not gray or anything. That he just ages well. It was like obvious uh, fake beard on this dude. And yeah, no aging whatsoever. I don't know. <laughs> Are you still there, Rob? I'm listening. Oh, okay. I'm, 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 I, I, I'm, then, I'm, I, I'm, I'm doing the new thing. Well, I'm, letting, I'm letting you get your hey, points no, out. You just get in there. I don't care. And they, and they tried to make the, the old, the, the, the priest that was doing this had this responsibility before. Father uh, Yeager. Simpson. They try to make him look old as, or he's uh, obviously he's supposed to be like ninety, but he he pretty much looks the same just with some gray shoe polish in his hair. Yeah, that's probably what they use was gray shoe polish. 
don't that's know. what you. That's what you. Use. That's probably what Rob's using to <laughs> masturbate right now because I can't. Exactly. He's not saying any. He's just. He's just like. I just see him hunched over with his shoulders like just pulled in close, and he's just like, ah, <laughs> fucking whores and cocksuckers. And, oh, just just uh, evil. E- well, of course, you know it's like one of those things. It's like the the new the new preacher is basically like, look, we're gonna task this idiot child with taking care of this superhuman super villain. And of course, for some reason he just doesn't give him the, the catatonic injections. Yes. Yeah. Like, uh, okay. He, he like, like believes in him. He's like, I can change him. Uh, he's probably a good person. I won't give him this injection. I heard he killed a whole bunch of whores. So, you know, he can't be all bad. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if there's one thing that he can do, right though, the Brock Simpson priest is, uh, is shave a man's, face with a straight razor i'd let him i'd let him at me with, the, with yeah i'd let him at me with that on my balls because because you know we saw the shot of him with the beard we see him walk in there with a the straight razor and the next shot is like totally perfectly clean shaven face of an unconscious man and you know he did the balls while he was there oh of yeah. course yeah yeah he, brock simpson he he seems so young still but he this was two years after prom night three so he still was pretty young i guess oh yeah yeah I just couldn't shave his face perfectly and the balls. <laughs> Hell yeah. But it left him a nice ponytail. Oh, yeah. You got to leave the ponytail. So now he, he's officially in charge of him because cause the old dude passed away. This hair is going to make me famous. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, why don't they just kill Jonas? Like, why are they keeping him alive? Why are they keeping him under medication? Can't kill a priest. He's killed people and he's... yeah. They say like the devil's got a hold of him. Satan got a hold of Father Jonas, and and uh, and so we have to keep him like this. Is it Satan that got a hold of him? Because he's only killing whores and and people who have, uh, you know, premarital sex. He's basically like Jason, but just in different form. So mm-hmm. I, maybe it's like a, a deviant angel that's inside of him. Not you think Satan would want the whores to prosper. You figure so. You would think so. But, I mean, he's got a real. I think it's maybe just some pent up sexual aggression. That's true. He does look like he could be bisexual. Just oh, just all these, all these just wet bodies. Just oh, just dirty horrors everywhere. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god! Speaking of pent up sexual god, aggression, pent up. Oh, that Jeez. means it's time for the poor halftime. All right, uh, we do have a horror freak of the week this week, and that yes, we person is Frank Norat. Yeah, Frank. Frank Norat is the horror freak of the week for his Prom Night Three meme. Has a girlfriend, uh, but still cheats with a ghost. Yes, so Frank, very good. <laughs> go ahead and message us on the page, Frank, uh, and we'll send you some stuff. I might go back to sending out some sticker packs because I got those. I got to get rid of. But, uh, yeah, send us a message. We'll send you some stuff. Um, so Frank Norat is the horror freak of the week. Awesome, Frank. Um, so, yeah, this is the last prom night, last chance to get your prom night memes in for next week. Uh, and next week is our 100th episode. So you could be the horror freak of the week on the 100th episode and feel extra special if you get some awesome memes posted in the group. Yes. So remember what you have to do Big is go. 100. You got to go to the Facebook group. And post your meme in there with the hashtag horror halftime so we can find it. And then you can win some cool stuff. Yes. All right. That concludes the horror halftime. Yeah. Back to it here. Where the hell was I? Um, oh, uh, uh, Father our Colin d- shaved his face for. perfectly, stops giving him the shots. Of course, neglects drugging. Of him. course, um, <clears throat> you know, Father Jonas White Chief escapes. I don't know. Is that I can't just say that. That's that's Father wrong. Jonas White Chief. I don't know. He's got like beautiful black hair and and awesome like tan. He's a beautiful man, just like a- Adrian Paul from uh, from Highlander. I was yeah. thinking of the Indian guy from Creep Show. Oh yeah, that too. So my hair is gonna my hair is gonna get me into these movies. Yeah. He's like Danny Trejo without the uh, acne um, scars. Yeah. Or whatever you call that. Cra- crater, <laughs> crater, crater face. face. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, he escapes because he doesn't get the ejections. He kills Brock Simpson. Thank God we got him out of the movie. Yeah. Quickly. Yes, done quickly, for. easily, just done for. His penis wasn't big enough. 
Yeah, he's like, nope, you won't do. What? Because <laughs> he probably sodomized him oh, while he was there. Well, the, yeah, it would still have nothing to do with it. I he just sodomized was just thinking of the priestly Scotty stuff. He just sometimes. thinks of sodomizing <laughs> men all the time, I guess. Well, you know. Quit trying to make sense <laughs> of it, Danny. No, I, I'm just trying to think of like the chamber down in the basement and and him helping him. And So, anyways, he has escaped. Meanwhile, these cool teens are ditching prom and going to, what is it? Is it the, the guy's dad's uh, house or something like that? Or, or second house that's that's nice or yes. something? And it happens to be prom night. I don't know what that was. It just happens to be prom well, night. Well, because they ditch prom. Yeah. That's why they, that's the only reason it's called prom night. It, <laughs> it happened, they went to Hamilton High and they ditched prom night. This all happens on prom night. I think it's kind of like what, night, everything is what, uh, what they wanted to do with Halloween. And kind of make an anthology series about, you know, prom Halloween nights. or prom night. Yeah, well, didn't work out. Well, well, no, not for so, this one. But I mean, no. oh, this one stinks because I actually prom night one sucked. I didn't like it. Prom night two was good. Prom night three was really good. And then this one was just friggin' awful. Yeah, it was. It was bad. First one was better than this one. I think it's. I think so. Probably first one was better than this one. Uh, well, yeah, uh, it's close. It's close. Yeah, they're they're both tied. They're tied for. They're just they're awful for different reasons. But uh, so, did you notice that during any um, sort of central scene where either the girls are getting ready for prom, and we already mentioned they just had tons, the just just random g- garter shots with that don't even match, like tan garters and white underwear. I don't even know. Mm-hmm. But uh, anytime they're doing that, there's also a weird little lesbian scene where the girl's like i'm just joking <laughs> yeah no no it's just, it's just i'm not joke. really a lesbian i'm just joking my nipples are so hard yeah <laughs> <laughs> but i mean if you like want to try more you know yeah i'm just joking but like if you want to lick my clit and motorboat the fuck out of it i'm okay with that yeah you know just to see you know for your benefit just yeah. just to see how you like it so during that and during the makeout scenes and the sex scenes, they just had the cheesiest fucking Kenny G saxophone music. Ever. <laughs> it's when things get sexy, you got to hear that saxophone. Oh, was, that's how it was in Prom Night Three, but it's supposed to be funny. Yeah, so it worked. It, it was it was ridiculous. <laughs> uh, why did I write this to? To Jamie Lee Curtis? Two young question couples. Mark? Oh, they mention her name oh, yeah. in the movie. Yeah, they do. They said... What did they say? She's... I don't know. They mentioned Jamie Lee Curtis's name at some point in the movie. And, and I just they thought say, that cheers, was... cheers, Jamie Lee Curtis. I don't know. It, it just felt like the, the, the most half-assed attempt at a nod to the series. It's like, oh, this is fucking stupid. It has nothing yeah, to do with... Especially because this series isn't... I don't think it was ever received like Halloween was. So it's yeah. kind of like you don't need, no, you don't need a throwback, especially yeah. to that movie. Cause that movie wasn't friggin' good either. Like I want, I'm pissed off, man. I want to marry Lou back. It's yeah, really, me too. I, it, I, wanted to see what, me. I, I wanted to see what hot incarnation of Mary Lou. They had this. Time. Yeah. A third one. Yeah, Cause they keep recasting her. Yeah. yeah. Like I wouldn't have mind of like take it back off with like her and her little boyfriend down there in high school hell. Yeah, like, that would what's be nice. Hap- what's, what's happening down in the underworld? Picked yeah, it up from there. Going. Instead, we got freaking beasting boobs and, and uh, non-related story. Should have picked it up from there. Also, the excuse that that beasting boobs, get, I forgot her name in the movie, gives her mom or parents about uh, where she's going that night is, I told my mom we were going camping. Well, there's like a foot of snow on the ground, and it's like 20 degrees outside. Who the fuck would believe that you're going camping? Isn't that what y'all do in Colorado? No. I mean, some people, but... Uh, if you're going like some, winter camping... Some prissy girl with her friends on prom night is going camping. Right. <laughs> and why And why wouldn't they just tell their parents they're going to prom? Isn't It's prom night. Don't, aren't the, their parents aren't fucking idiots. But they want to stay out all night, so they don't have to come home. Oh, we're, mom, we're going to go to prom and then we're going to go camping afterwards. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. They had to, they had to have the script go somewhere. That's you know? something maybe they would do down in Tallahassee. Oh, I'm nice for sure. Weather. Do you guys even camp down there, Rob? Like, where do you, what, do you just go into the swamp somewhere? Yeah. 
I mean, you just go out there and hang out and just well, you build can a camp fire on the beach. and like <clears throat> fight off mosquitoes and alligators. All I'm picturing is down there surrounding you are swamplands where you have to use one of those like fan boats to get around. It's and an airboat. It's not a fan <laughs> boat, sir. <An> airboat. <laughs> airboat. Is that what it's called? We, yeah, we got a lot of places like that, but I mean, we it's a mix. It's like half that and the other half is beaches and stuff, but we don't we're, we're we don't go to the beaches we're over here we're like an hour away so yeah. if, you're, if you're gonna camp it's yeah it's in the woods so they're at this house they're getting their teen thing on and you know just the best dialogue you've ever heard they found the best getaway house and to um, go stoink. and you know they're they're raiding the wine stash and uh we start seeing some point of view shots of the preacher being outside and at least that's who we think it is, obviously, because he's escaped. And turns out that this house was his old house where back in 57, they took him from the basement and captured him. So there's that. So they picked the wrong house to get to, to get to get freaky in. Yep. Oh, and one of the first things that happens is the priest calls the house and does like, you know, a creepy call where, first of all, why does she answer the phone? They're at a house that's not theirs. It's not hers. The phone rings and she just picks it up. She's like, um, hello? Like, why the, if you were at a house that was not yours and you weren't even supposed to be there, the last thing you would do is answer the phone yeah. when it rings. Is this, is this the Jeffries? <laughs> no. Well, who are you? Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, whoops. Yeah, you're, you're oh, just busted. Sorry. <laughs> and then how do, how does he call? Yeah, yeah. what phone is There's he no calling? Cell from? phones? Then what's he calling on? He must have if, two and, lines. And even if he had a cell phone, I don't <clears> think he remembered his ho- his house number from thirty years ago. Yeah, no, no. There must be two phone lines that are in the house. Has to be two phone lines. Maybe there's like a call box on the light post down the driveway. I don't mm. know. They didn't explain that. And uh, yeah, so she answers the phone and just hangs it. It's just and of course he's on the phone going. Whore, cock, so fucking whore, cock, sucking whore. Those were like he had a really easy time memorizing his lines because that's all they <laughs> yeah. were. <laughs> yeah, it was just that's probably all he he could say. Maybe they took him in. That's maybe that's why they cast him. He came in for an audition and they're like, "Oh, hello, Mister Whatever," and he's like, "Cocksucker, cocksuckers, you're all cocksuckers, and you're cast." Yeah, I love him. I love <laughs> he's this, in. He's the best. This this guy has it. While this, he, this guy has something. Yeah. While he's creeping around out there, uh, this was another thing we haven't mentioned yet. During one of the initial s- scenes toward the beginning of the movie where the guy is trying to get on um, beasting boobs because she's a virgin and hasn't done it yet, whereas her friend is like total whore. Um, yeah, and she's just like, oh, yeah, you know. <laughs> It's just nothing worse than two virgins. It's a oh, yeah, it's a yeah. good thing. It's a good thing he's probably riddled with STDs because yeah. that means he knows what he's doing. She's like, there's nothing worse than two virgins trying to fuck. <laughs> That's later. They, on did, the they, movie. Did, they, did, they did drop those in there a lot. Like, yeah. What were y'all doing? We were fucking. We were, yeah, oh. and, it, and it was like that really explicit fuck. It wasn't like mm-hmm. it wasn't just in passing, you know. So, uh, oh, we were fucking so hard. Uh, <laughs> that's what she sounded like. <laughs> and they had the so in the towards the beginning of the movie when beasting boobs is is uh you know the guy's getting on her in the live in his own house in the living room. He's got peeping Tom brother talking loud enough so that everyone could hear, but obviously they didn't. And he's just sitting there. Yeah, yeah, unbutton her shirt. Oh yes. Thank you, God. Oh, yes. I'll oh, put man, your that hand was up creepy. Oh, my God. It's like, whose brother stands there and watches their older brother gets getting and gets a hard on? Some some people get off on that. That's bad. Scotty, Scotty's over there being like, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's like, that, it's like that one time I was watching you. That one time, Danny. Like, you don't know, you remember? I mean, oh, wait, wait. You don't remember because cause I, I, I was sneaking up on you and, and you didn't no, know I was that there. That did not happen. No. <laughs> no. Definitely and he was talking happen. loud enough too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, he was talking oh. way loud. Oh yes, get that top button. Oh. 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 It's like I'm pretty sure his brother uh, saw his we, brother watching. We can hear you. <laughs> <Yeah>. That's creepy. <laughs> so he's so obsessed about it that he follows them in the dead of winter to this house out on the outside of town or wherever it is, and is creeping on them with like a video camera zooming in. So obviously uh, he gets killed because the killer's creeping around outside and sees him and 
priest offs him. So apparently it's not only horrors, it's peeping toms too that that uh, this priest has been tasked to kill. He will not tolerate any of this, anything no. that goes with that. Uh, but you know what he does before, and this is the, just real quick, this was the, after that, after the peeping brother dies, is when we see the happy boobers. Um, and, and they were fairly happy. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, the priest does come in and kills the guy. Well, and her, but we don't know that yet. And... But the thing he does when he he does this like two or three times in the movie when he's killing them he's like grabbing their head and then he kisses them like on the lips. Yeah, so, it's a little it's a little strange. I just think he's and a, then I I wonder what the priest's point of view is when he's like he's watching these kids he's gonna kill them and then he just turns a corner and sees like this fourteen year old jerking off <laughs> spying on his he's probably like oh I'm gonna get what what the fuck what are you doing here what the fuck. But, like, like nothing threw this man off his game. No. He was like, oh, that's cool. Just one more to go. But I mean, like, you just don't be like, yeah, that was, what was that noise? What the, what the fuck is this? It's a kid He's jacking just, it over Tommy, here. Tommy, I thought I told you to stay downstairs. Kid jacking Damn it. it over here. What is going on? <laughs> like, he didn't even ask any game. questions. No. He went like, hey, so like, what's your deal? <laughs> oh, so you're. You know, it's kind of messed up. You're jerking off to your brother, right? <laughs> like, that's basically... No. No, I'm going to kill you. I just really just was wondering... What the, what, like, what's wrong y'all with you? Pe- yeah, you people are sick. <laughs> There's something wrong with you. I My theory, you know, the priest kissed him. He's just... Like, we already said, he's, re- he's wrestling with emotions, with sexual feelings, and he doesn't know which way to go. And, I mean, when he does... And when he's at his worst, <clears throat> he kills, and then he just commits the most violent gay acts. I mean, he just fucking munches cocks. <laughs> he just like guzzles them down like like water on a hot Florida day at Ooh, Disney. Goodness gracious. You know, he's just like, give me that 10-year-old penis. <laughs> and I want the balls. I want the ball. I don't want to be balls deep in my mouth. I want the balls to be at my tonsils. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Do I want to kill him? Do you want to kiss him? Do you want to kill him? Kiss, 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 kill, kill, then kiss. So he does both. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, oh. So everything's going to hell. They he kills uh, both of those two, and then um, so we got the two left, and they see blood and shit. And she's like, "Call the police!" And he's he says, "No, I want to find out what's going on first. That's the smartest thing ever." Yep. <laughs> we got to scour the place. And then I it's know I was feeling your pain, Rob. I know you were frustrated when he gets the gun, he loads the oh, gun, God. and then he continues to like run, even though the guy's in clear view like four times, and he could have shot him easily. Yeah, that's like one of my one of my just hands down biggest pet peeves in movies is that right there? Just the whole like okay, Common one sense. He, one how he randomly knows where the gun is in like a locked toolbox. And then he gets it, and you're like, oh, okay, cool. And he loads it, and then he, it's like, okay, now you have the upper hand, but he yep. just continues to run away. Yeah. yeah. It's even, like, even no, though the guy's clearly it, it, in front it, of him, empty yeah. it, empty that gun right into him. And then if it turns out, you know, like he's superhuman and that doesn't, then you run away. But yeah. like, you're not going, and then there's like that one scene to where, He's banging on the door, and I'm, like, screaming, just shoot him through the door. Yeah. And nope, nope. Then he gets up onto the roof and yeah. tries to shoot blindly through the roof. I'm like, yeah. oh, okay. He waits you, till, get, you get what you deserve. He waits till then to try and shoot him till he's on the fucking roof pulling a fucking uh, Amityville. You know, he climbs out the window. He's on the pitched roof, and he's trying to, like, shoot him. Now he decides, oh, well, I'm going to shoot him through the roof when he's trying to stab me through the foot with his super cross. So yep. his crucifix. So then, of course, he ends up falling off the roof and 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 almost dying when he hits the ground. Uh, he, beasting boobs comes out and is like <clears throat> trying to comfort him and 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 freaking priest does the most perfect lawn dart launch of his cross right off the roof and just like yep. just silently and smoothly just goes and lands right in the guy's <laughs> chest. <laughs> He's just like whoop. it's like. <laughs> just like lands right in his chest. <laughs> it's it's like dropping. Like if I was him, he should have been like, "Yes, yes, got I it. it. I got it." 
First try. Finally. First no shot. celebration. No celebration at all. It's like dropping like a butter packet onto a thing of syrup. <laughs> it just sticks perfectly. He just lawn darts the thing like right <laughs> off the right off the roof. <laughs> I just couldn't believe they did that. Uh, <clears throat> and then what's her name's dumbass? She's the only one left alive now. Has Megan. previously in the movie broken a uh, bottle of wine when she got jump scared in the wine cellar and cut her foot. Steps on the same fucking glass again mm. and cuts her foot again. Same spot. And it, and it is and is tracking blood footprints all around the house. That obviously, and then, the and then she just like randomly stumbles on the gun, like just yeah. oh oh there it is, cool. Well, when, she gets when the gun. We, and then we she just has to go we back just, for the bullets. Yeah. Well, yeah, and then we just we just saw in a scene earlier the sucker got launched off of a roof somewhere, yeah. like it didn't bounce back into the house. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, so so um. She runs out. Oh, well, before he dies, actually, they did have the pretty cool scene where they're both outside. This is <clears throat> before he go clambers up on the roof and everything. And they find the other two people hung on crosses and then lit on fire right in front of them. That was pretty cool. At least. Yeah, that, mm-hmm. yeah I, I, did, yeah, I actually like that. That was kind of like um, the hills have eyes where they burned old Big Bob. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That, that, Bob. that was pretty cool. I, I did. I did dig that. There was. There was some like flashes of this isn't the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah. But then they immediately came back and was like, no, nah, this is up there. Yeah. yeah. Yep. No, no, this, no. This, are you sure? This Here is you back go. up there with the worst. Well, so eventually she's the only one left. Um, she, he's chasing her around. He, she gets him out to the shed. Uh, some, you know, somehow gets her lot. Well, first she lights him on fire. I, I, I'm like forgetting how this all happened. She has the lighter. She's in the shed. She fucking lighter gets caught in his clothes and whatever. Lights the shed on fire, locks him in there. And then, um, I don't know if it's that special alcohol he has on him or not, but shed instantly blows up and she has to it's run. Super dive. holy water. Oh, yeah. dude. dude, it's <laughs> it's like gasoline mixed with holy water, mixed with alcohol. Oh, who yeah, knows? That, that shed just instantly just goes up. Just take I mean, there must have just been um, you know, pounds of uh of C four inside that shed. I don't know. They had to prove it was a a higher budget movie, right? Then, then she oh, shoots. Oh yeah, the, 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 the shed the shed explodes as if they were storing dynamite. In it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so then, and I'm I'm a little unclear on the end. So she is there in the hospital or not the ambulance, and then he's like in a body bag. But then seemingly charred dead body. Yeah, but then his <laughs> hand fl- flops out, and then his eyes open. But then like her eyes open, and she looks like she has a sinister look to her. So. It's either one of two things. Either he's just alive and she senses it and is like fearful again, but it was more of a different look than that. Or he like possessed her somehow or something. I don't know. He I simultaneously really opened it. eyes at the same time and then the possession. I don't know if, if you if anyone got anything different, but uh, yeah, I don't really know. I I could see that, or maybe just nothing happens. She just has that uh, sinister look. I guess we'll have to wait for prom night five. Ah. Uh. Fuck. Yes. <laughs> nope. This will be the end of it. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. I there think isn't. Yeah. That sort of wraps up all my notes on the movie. I don't know if there, we missed much in there, but no, I think yikes, that's pretty good. It was not, uh, it was not three caliber, at least three, um, didn't take itself seriously and put some comedy in there and came out with a good movie. Whereas this just, yeah. Yeah. I, two was pretty good too. Yeah, and two was yeah not bad. And that was a straight horror, mm-hmm. and was the best horror. You know, you had two was good because it was straightforward horror, and they did it decently. And uh, then three was because they mixed in the comedy, and one and f- these bookends are just not very good films. Yeah, because they tried to go straight yeah. horror with this one too. Yeah, and didn't come out too. I don't know how good. they settled on that priest voice or why they went that route, but it was ridiculous. Dirty those fucking cocksuckers. <laughs> well, he's possessed. They had to have like a. You need to have a possessed voice. <laughs> I don't know. See your best fuck. possessed voice. Yeah, no, it was pretty. It was pretty. It was pretty terrible all all, all yeah. the way around. Well, that's prom night four. Everybody, deliver us from evil. I had never seen it before, so now I have. Me neither. Now I have. <laughs> I never. I don't need to watch it again either. 
Nope. Nope. I think nope. this is definitely a one and done right there. I'm pretty, yep. I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied with only losing an hour and a half of my life. Yep. Yep. Yeah, me too. Well, uh, what what did you guys watch this week? Oh, what what did you watch? Halloween. We need like a song for that. What did you watch? Well, you just do that every time. Okay. Okay. Um, I Rob finally watched do the follow up jingle. I actually watched a lot. I mean, you should you you should be watching horror movies during Halloween time, right? Yeah, I didn't get as many in as I wanted to. I watched like uh, half of some movies too and whatnot that were just on TV. So I watched Unfriended. Which Rob rec- recommended. I did like it. It was definitely kept me on the edge of my seat because I had to pay attention the whole time and and you know read uh, stuff on the screen. But it, it was definitely it was good. I liked it. It was definitely messed with my head a little bit. Is that it? And then I watched The Shining, which only like well, the whole, not the whole thing. Only like forty five minutes. I of also it. watched The Shining because they had it going in the cardio cinema at the gym. Yep. All day on Halloween yesterday. Mm-hmm. And so when I went to the gym in the morning, I usually don't go in there because I don't know. It's just sort of weird. Yeah. To that's nice though. I don't know, it's all right. I just I he's, usually, he's pumping in I usually do like circuit training stuff for cardio. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna run today and watch the shining. Yeah. So I watched like forty five minutes of that, which was good. And then I watched part of Halloween four and Halloween five that were on TV and I just had it playing and hocus pocus. Damn, nice. Yeah. Just parts of it, you know, while I'm doing stuff and it's on in the house. What about you, Rob? Um, I watched uh, Halloween 1978, mm. and then I ended up watching uh, Trick or Treat, which I love that movie. You know, oh, I still you know haven't what? seen that. I, yeah, me neither. I'm such a fucking so ashamed to say it that I have not seen that film. Oh, it's great. It's, it's probably like the best anthology type. Yeah, like it, it's like four or five stories that all kind of intertwine. But um, no, it's awesome. I, need, uh, yeah, I love I love that, that movie. Yep, I'll have to get it for sure. Uh, well, I watched what did I watch. I thought I watched what some at the end watch? of last week coming into this. Uh, well, for sure, last night uh, I watched Adam's Family. <laughs> There's some uh, wife choosing on some of these movies. Adam's Family is not a bad movie. It's just not my first like scary pick on mm-hmm. Halloween. But so I watched Adam's Family, um, and that was on while we were handing out candy and cooking dinner. And then after that, she picked again, and we watched The Village, which I have no idea why she won't watch uh, horror movies, but then randomly picks some horror movies. Like she's like, she picked The Village, and now she wants to go see that Happy Death Day too. So I want to see Happy Death, which I yeah, know me, is more like a comedy too. horror. I don't know. So the village, which eh, you know, village is okay. I, I don't absolutely hate it, but you know, yeah. it's whatever. I, I, I did forget village. how many big ass names were in it. I forgot that Adrian Brody played a kid, dude with autism. That That's right. Cool. That's right. Um, and then, uh, well, then I watched Prom Night Four last night, but I, there was some more earlier in the week. I swear that I just can't remember right now. Maybe you there still wasn't. you still need to watch. Uh, uh, autopsy, autopsy of Jane Doe. Yeah, I knew you were gonna yeah say that. me too. Me too. I should have opted for that instead of Bye Bye Man last. Is week. that on Flix? No, you have to rent it on Amazon. Oh, okay, so it's so worth it. Yeah. Um, oh, that was the other Jane one. Doe. I went back and watched it again um, because somebody mentioned it in the comments. I thought I had seen it, but I wasn't sure. And then it turns out I had, but it was still good. Um, was uh, Don't Knock Twice. Oh, see, mm. I haven't seen that one. Me neither. That one is. Did you really have to rent good. that? Um, I think it was on Shutter. I can't remember oh. now. It was earlier in the week, but no, it's really good. It's 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 awesome. I actually really, really, really like that movie. That was another one that kind of I randomly found, but um, because everybody told me to watch Jane Doe, yeah. that's how I found it. But uh, no, that one was really good. I really, I really liked it. Don't knock twice. Watch Autopsy that. of Jane Doe. Two movies I need to watch. All right. Well, uh, I think that wraps her up. Yeah, we guys. Did, um, make sure uh, we did just come before this recording this. We recorded an interview with another indie film director slash actor slash producer um, who has a film coming out called Killer Christmas on November 22nd. Sort of a Christmas slasher flick um, coming out on like iTunes and Amazon and so keep an eye out for that. And that interview will be posted probably closer to when it releases so that we can hype it up. Um, but it will be posted on Patreon. So make sure you go to patreon.com slash cult classic horror 
and we would just love you forever if you would support us there. Um, there are different tiers you can support us at, and you get something in return. Um, for our independent film director interviews um, or any celebrity interviews, well, not any, I should say, the mainly the indie film directors and people who are creating films and up-and-coming films, um, we just did the one with Steven Dorff in it, with Jack Jackals. Jackals, yeah. So all that stuff goes, it's free for usually a week, uh, but then we archive it in our $10 level membership. Uh, so there will be a lot of built-up, uh, cool indie film interviews in there. And, you know, they're they're good for horror yeah, some fans. some feature film stuff, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. That yeah, the same thing. Yeah. Films. If they're good for horror fans just to, to see how it was filmed and behind the scenes and, and get the, their take on it. But I think they're also good for filmmakers. If you're like an aspiring indie filmmaker or, um, or whatever you're a writer and you're trying to get into the film side of, um, horror, uh, we really do dig in and we ask them how they did it, where they got the money from, um, what, you know, the shortcuts they mm-hmm. took, how much crew they used, uh, how many days it took. And we really dig in with these, uh, this one was director, producer, actors. The Jackals one was with the writer. Um, so we, it's a lot of good information if you're trying to get into the film side of things yeah. too. So it's, I, it's really cool to learn the behind yeah. the scenes stuff and, and what actually goes and on. We actually are getting a lot of requests now uh, to do interviews, and so and they're getting, they're just getting, so there'll be a lot in there. So if you're interested in that stuff, definitely sign up on Patreon at the ten dollar tier, and you'll have access to all of. Uh, our past and uh, and upcoming interviews about filmmaking and things like yes. that. Yes, so good stuff, guys. Golden nuggets. Yeah, if it, it's like like Danny was saying, it's not just. Uh, sometimes it's not really a lot about the movie because we don't want to spoil it. But there's, if you are interested in any way about anything, writing, producing, screenplays, these these are people that have done it all. Usually, for the most part, all by themselves and. It's pretty interesting to hear it's how they really do it. is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was actually thinking. I mean, it's great Patreon bonus content, but as we keep getting these requests, I almost thought about just even a separate podcast where we just interview indie filmmakers, indie horror filmmakers. And yeah, that'd be and good. It's all of, and that's all it is. is Since how, we've been getting how, so much. Know, how did you do it? How was it done? And I think a lot of people would be interested in that. So oh, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah we'll I mean, see. these are the same kind of guys that you know. Um, you know, a lot of those movies on Netflix that you see, like we, we see them all the time. Like, uh, yep. what was it like the void and stuff like that? These are all, you know, Netflix and places option to purchase them and, and, and show and view them. But, you know, these are, these people go about it and do it the same way that, that some of the bigger name movies are being done like bloom house yeah. and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. it's, it's pretty interesting to, to see and hear, how they do it because you know some of the questions we ask you know we get a lot of surprising answers yeah. on how you know because a lot of people assume oh well you know you needed to go and do this 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 and this and there's oh no 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 we, we do it this way and it's it's pretty it's really cool yeah yeah so yeah check that out uh patreon.com slash cult classic horror um Make sure you're in the Facebook group on Facebook, the Cult Classic Horror group. Also, Facebook.com slash Cult Classic Horror. Follow us on Twitter at CC Horror. Instagram at Cult Classic Horror. Um, follow me at Danny Bonin, as, at Scotty Bonin, Scotty Bonin, and at the Rob O'Neill 1986. And guys, next week, 100th episode. Yeah, 100th episode. So next week, we are going live. We're going live next week for the 100th episode. We'll be covering The Howling. Uh, and maybe we'll just do, because we were going to do two per episode for The Howling, but maybe since it's 100 episodes, Our, we'll just yeah. do one. We'll just, just do The Howling and see if we can fit the others in still. Yeah, um, we could probably just do like the the one Howling and do yeah. a do a little question and answer and yeah and and, and get out of there and, and do it yeah. like that. And we could always double up or even, yeah. like we said, maybe we, we there's one or two movies we may not even be able to find. Yeah, so. of The Howling. Yeah, so make sure that uh, you keep an eye out next week in the group slash or on our Facebook page. We'll let you know um, when we're going to go live. We don't always record at the same time, but usually it's mid mid to late day uh, on Wednesdays when, when we go live to do it. So next week, next Wednesday, mid to late day, we'll be going live, doing the podcast live on Facebook. So you'll want to make sure that uh, – you know, you check us out there, follow us on Facebook so you get the notification. Big 100. Yep. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for listening. Thanks, and guys. We'll catch you next week. 
Laters. Later. Don't you blame the movies. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. <laughs> There will be blood. <laughs>